everybody, happy new year. I hope your year's off to a wonderful start. And this video idea has been kind of lurking in the back of my mind for a while. I feel like I've very slowly added to a pile of things that fall into this category. I'm talking about makeup that seems more expensive than it is. It might be something about the formula or the shade or just the way it applies. It just makes it seem like it's worth a lot more than what we're getting charged. Whenever you stumble across a product like that, you want to share. So that's what I'm sharing with you guys today. First thing is a primer that I've started using quite a bit in my stash. It's from Catrice Cosmetics and it's called Crime and... No. <laughs> it's not called Crime. It's called Prime and Fine. And it's a smoothing refiner, they say. And this is really almost exactly like something that I have from Tarte. Like a very, very similar texture. It's super smooth. It's got a little bit of thickness. Um, I once used something from L'Oreal that was a lot like this, only that was even more um, heavy feeling on the skin. So this still feels light. I really want to show this like in application sometime, maybe in a get ready with me or something, but you see a difference in your skin right when you put it on, like with pores, with shine. It's very smoothing. You touch your face afterwards. The, the whole texture of your face feels very evened out. So I think this is definitely a top quality product and just the feeling of it. It's one of those things where, gosh, that feels like a luxe, really high-end type of texture in a product, you know? It doesn't feel cheap. Here's a current foundation favorite that's really screaming high-end to me, but it's from good old Maybelline. It's the Maybelline Superstay Full Coverage. It's their reformulated, extra flawless looking foundation. I'm wearing it today. I think this applies like a dream. It's got a great little, you know, pump style situation here, which we all love, or I think we all love it. Do we? I definitely do. I have it in warm nude, which is just a teeny bit on the dark side for me, but it works so well coverage wise. Like I blend this out and I immediately start thinking of the more expensive foundations that I have. And I'm like, this is every bit as good. And it lasts really well on my skin. And I'm not saying there aren't other drugstore brands that have good coverage foundations. Like L'Oreal has that total cover in the squeezy tube and that does work well, but you have to be a lot more careful with the application. Here, the application is just very easy. And that's sometimes a feeling that I come away with when I'm using certain high-end foundations. It's like, oh, it just blends in super flawlessly without a lot of effort. That's the feeling I get from this. And the coverage is fantastic and can rival, I think, most full coverage foundations that are on the market. So it definitely seems more expensive than it is. Amazing product here from a brand that I think maybe isn't getting quite as overlooked as it once was, but my goodness, this is great. LA Colors Mineral Pressed Powder. They are bringing it with a fabulously textured powder here. I think this could be powder foundation for some people. I mean, it really is soft and smooth. It feels even a little softer than L'Oreal True Match. I mean, it goes on the skin so beautifully and buttery and matte. It's definitely a matte powder, but it only adds to the flawless look of your skin. It buffs in so fully and so nicely. It doesn't look really like a separate powder texture on the skin. I'm just really surprised that for like, I think this is a $6, $5 or $6 product, that they are able to give this luxe and this rich of a formula in a powder like this. It's just so, so nice. And if you were wondering, there is a little sponge on the underside, but I usually just dab a little bit of this on after my foundation with my e.l.f. complexion brush, and it's just so, so nice. I don't think you'll believe it when you touch it how wonderfully smooth and rich this powder feels. This next product was like the first thing that went in the pile when I was considering doing this video and it's from Makeup Revolution and it's their liquid highlighter. Seriously so much better than I was expecting. One thing that I associate sometimes with high-end highlights but more often maybe with cheaper highlights is a lot of filler, some sparkle maybe, you know something that's just going to make it look very cheap and unnatural and that's not this at all. I have the shade Champagne and this is the only shade I can speak for from this line. I don't know if the formula or, you know, the composition of the product might be a little different in other shades, but this one, you're getting a good amount of product, it feels like, too. Um, 0.61 fluid ounces. You've got the dropper here. To me, when I put this on my skin, it just feels like liquid health, you know? Like, it just gives the most beautiful glow without a lot of, like, shimmery flecks, glittery flecks. The one thing to keep in mind is when you put it on your skin, I would blend it out immediately. Like, dab it on and then don't wait and put 
dabs on the other cheek like just go ahead and kind of blend it in you can use your finger or this is called the high cheekbone highlight from Sigma and this is also really nice I almost prefer it over the elf small stipple brush for straight up liquids like this product because the bristles here are so dense you just get a really even blend but it's so so pretty like I can't get over it and I love as I sheer it out on my cheeks I don't start to see a bunch of sneaky glitter and like really weird looking stuff this could be a total everyday wear at any time type of product and you just have this nice natural sheen it's definitely giving like the Becca shimmering skin perfector liquids a run for their money guys here's another fabulous thing it seems more expensive than it is and it's from Shani have you seen this brand on Amazon lurking around with their giant palettes well they have a blush palette here it's a six color thing it's called fuchsia something and it runs around 12 13 dollars but let me tell you amazing quality happening here. These are such nice blushes. And what's really special about this and what makes me wanna like shout from the rooftops about it, I'm gonna hold it just so, so I feel like you're getting the truest to color look here. You're getting every shade you need instead of just packing it with like okay here's your palette of pinks no you've got pinks a couple of them here i'm wearing this one today kind of a rosy pink you got a nice like peachy coral a cooler pink and then down here at the bottom three really nice kind of dusty shades so your purest colors are up top and then things get a little more muted at the bottom granted everything is really nicely pigmented but i love this deeper peach with a little bit of gold two i think levels of a dusty rose shade this one a little bit deeper Deeper. This one has a little more bronze, but I think everything is so wearable and would definitely have an impact on all skin tones. I just lightly dip my brush in, tap off the excess, gives me a beautiful cheek look, but it's all about the variety, right? I want the mix and I want it to be something exactly like this, so I love that. And the feel of the blushes, like I said, you will not be disappointed. They feel very high end. I want to talk real quickly about a couple of eyeshadows that have really, really impressed me. Um, L'Oreal has been doing some good shadows lately. Lately. like their singles, especially the matte color riche singles, which I mentioned in the Emily Awards. I think they're great. You know how I feel about those. I do think those and honestly many other drugstore finds that I really, really like. Those kinds of products I feel like seem more expensive than they are. But here's another thing that they're doing really well. It's these Infallible Paints Metallic Singles. These are quite nice. And I had tried a couple shades, the silver and the purple, um, when these first came out. And they're nice, right? But there's something about these neutrals that are wowing me and impressing me even more. I love this rose chrome and also this taupey shade right here. Absolutely stunning. They are so smooth. One swipe swatches here for you. And these shades are actually beautiful together. I don't know if you're getting the full scope of how pretty that peach is, but it definitely stands out and I was wearing it on my lid the other day and I thought wow that is gorgeous it's a beautiful golden peach and then this can actually be worn in the crease or you could do like a one shadow look kind of smoky eye with this I kind of wanted to have these on my eyes today so I could really show you what they do but I'm in the midst of a week-long shadow project that you'll see more of at the end of the week but those shadows definitely if you've seen them if you've been curious about them in the drugstore not that I don't like the flat out, you know, foiled silver shade. It's really nice, but I think there's something about these neutrals that just really speak to me. Last but not least, a lip product. And I think I mentioned this lip product sometime in the summer, but I continue to have such a strong feeling about them. One shade in particular definitely lurks in my purse a lot of the time. And when I find myself doing that, you know, like carrying around a certain lip product all the time, reaching for it constantly when I'm like not necessarily on camera, but just in everyday life, I think it needs some extra attention in a video and I'm talking about these Broadway Colors True Matte Lipsticks. Got them at Dollar General. These could most definitely pass for a high-end lipstick for sure. They may not look all that special in their tubes and the font there is kind of like yeah eh, whatever it doesn't look expensive but they feel expensive. Mm. Matte lipstick creamy. It sets into the perfect place for me where I really do not feel like it's going to go outside my lip line at all. It's even a little less creamy than like a Maybelline creamy matte lipstick, but it still doesn't feel drying whatsoever. No sticky thickness or anything like that. They're just a really solid matte lipstick. And the shade I'm wearing in this video is Lemon Pie. So great for a little pop of color there. But the everyday essential basic is Nude Rose. I'm sorry, but this is the shade everybody's wanting to wear. 
everywhere, right? This dusty rose, kind of mauve -y, just beautiful color. I love that and I find myself reaching for it all the time when I just kind of feel like, yeah, I don't know exactly what I want to wear. No, I'm not really sure what's going to look best with this particular eye look or whatever. This always looks right. So that's definitely a thing you want to look into. Don't just pass by when you're on your way through Dollar General. Just stop, give them a look. But that's all I've got for right now, guys. And give me a couple months and I might have even more that I could do on this topic. But I just, I love it. I love when I stumble across a drugstore thing. It's just so great and can totally compete, I guess you'd say, with any of the higher end, more expensive things in my collection. So thank you for your time, everyone. I hope you're having a great day and I will see you again very soon. Bye.